Hello again, uh, welcome to this uh, new lesson. Um, this time we are going to learn how to create and delete objects in Blender. Um, as we have talked about in the previous lesson, uh, we have uh, I have shown you how you can change the, the pivot point. And the first thing to create an object is to specify where the object will be created by positioning the 3D cursor. So I will do I will use the method with the shift and right click key. So let's position it here. Okay. And there are a couple of ways which you can add objects. The first one is to press shift A. Um, let me just activate the screencast keys so that you can see which keys or mouse buttons am I clicking on the bottom left of the screen. So I will do it again. You can use Shift A and uh, appears a menu. Okay. In this case, we are just talking about creating meshes, but the process is the same for creating lights, cameras, etc. So let's select mesh and then select for example the monkey um, this monkey is uh, the mascot of blender his name is Suzanne and uh, you may be wondering why blender should give us the option to create a monkey well this is because sometimes we need to test some materials or lighting etc and uh, we need a more complex shape but we don't have time to, to model one, so we use um, this one. Um, another way to do this is by going to the menu. Let me just point, put the, the 3D cursor on other position with the shift and the right key. Uh, one method that we have talked in the last tutorial. And you can go here to add mesh and for this case let's add a cone okay that's it now we have a cone on our scene to delete the objects you just need to select the object that you want to delete and press the X or the delete key the X key will ask you before deleting an object if you want to delete it okay you may you click here and the delete key will remove it without asking you any permission um, but uh, the delete key only works on windows and linux users if you are using mac probably you are going to stick to the x key okay let me just add a new object to show you how you can delete uh, multiple objects okay to delete multiple objects, make sure that you have the select box active or a circle or a lasso, anything that you want. We have talked about this in a previous tutorial. Um, and just click select all the objects that you want to remove. And again, you can press the X key or the delete key. I will press the X key put OK on confirmation and that's it we have removed our objects from the scene another thing that's important that is important for you to know if you create an object shift a for example let's create uh, an object like a cube like a sphere like a cylinder you have um, you probably have noticed that you have over here some parameters that you can change relative to the object that you have created they may not be the same to all objects for example in the case of the cylinder we can choose the number of the vertices we can choose its radius and we can choose its depth another thing is the fill type uh, that is an n one we are going to talk about this later and basically where its location you can bring this menu by clicking on f9 key that will appear where you have your mouse but uh, that's important for you to change all these settings right after you 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 create your object because if you do some task like moving it like creating a new object like resizing it you will no longer have access to this panel 
that's because uh, a lot of your time that you will spend using 3D is modeling, like changing vertices, uh, removing faces, etc., etc., and this panel uh, will no longer make sense to exist. Okay, I will show you. For example, if I move this object by press the G key, we are going to talk about this later. But if I move it, as you probably notice now, I have clicked and that panel have disappeared. Okay. If let me just create, for example, a cube. Okay. If I select other object, in this case the the this one. Okay, the cylinder. You have probably noticed that now I have not access to that panel. So make sure that after you create an object, you will change the settings according to your needs. We are going to work with this a lot, so we are going to talk about this a lot during this, this set of tutorials, but that's something that you should know. Um, make a little bit practice, uh, try to add some objects, you can add another ones that you probably don't know, a plane, uh, you can add, uh, uh, let me just move the pivot point. You can add a torus, that's up to you, uh, uh, play with it a little bit. I hope that you have liked this tutorial and I hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.